Hi, I'm Jill Galloway. I'm an artist educator with the National Portrait Gallery and a full-time artist with JJ Galloway Studio. In today's Drawn to Figures lesson, we're talking about how to draw the ears and the hair. Now, it's common for portrait artists to always get focused on the eyes, nose, and mouth, and sometimes not pay as much attention as they should to the sides of the head, the ears, and the hair. But a measure of a good artist is one that takes into consideration the entire composition. So you've got to focus on everything, even the background. But the ears and the hair trip people up because they're on the sides, and sometimes they just don't get enough attention. So today we're going to learn how to do that correctly, starting with simple shapes. So you don't need to have any experience. We'll start with simple shapes first and then we'll build from there. Okay, let's get started. For today's lesson, you'll use whatever your favorite drawing tool is. I'm going to use charcoal pencils because they're so easy to erase, but you could also just use regular pencils or ebony or graphite. You could use Conte crayons, pastels, whatever you choose, but just make sure you have the ability to erase if you want to. Let's start with the ear. Artists get really excited about drawing the ear, I think because you're normally not only seeing a portion of it, but just even the side view of it. And like anything else, we start with the simplest shapes, so we're just gonna do that and build from there. Let's start with the straight on view of the ear. Notice how it's just a backward C, tilted back a little bit like this. There's a flap of cartilage that runs along the outside of the edge of the ear, and that's called a helix. It kind of starts on the inside middle of the C, and extends all the way around the outside to the earlobe. As the ear turns back in space, the basic C shape gets narrower and narrower, as you can see less and less of the insides. Just think of the parts getting skinnier and skinnier. When you're placing the ear on the head, notice the top of the ear lines up with the brow and the bottom with the nose. And like the nose, the cartilage in the ear begins to break down with age, resulting in longer, droopier features. The tragus is a little flap of cartilage that protects the opening of the ear. Inside the ear, there's a shape that reminds me of a Y at the top and a fishing hook at the bottom. There's actually a lot of little curves and bends inside the ear. It's truly an amazing organ, but you don't need to put every single detail in. First, focus on that backward C starting at the tragus and ending at the earlobe. Then add that helix and the fish hook shape that interlocks with the C. A lot of the time, the sitter's hair will lay over top of the ear or at least part of the ear. When you start to draw hair, first see it in big shapes. Don't worry about getting every little strand of hair colored in. Draw the big shapes first and then add big shapes of value. Look for the hair to get darker as it tucks in behind the ears and near the neck. That will be the darkest value. It will also get darker on the sides of the head away from the light or as the head turns back in space. Once your hair shapes are filled with values, take your eraser and start pulling out some highlights. Most importantly, you're not trying to draw in or erase out every hair. You're just making a suggestion of the hair, and it takes layers and layers. You might want to go back and forth between your drawing tool and your eraser. Here's a selection of portraits from our collection of illustrations with great ears. All of these portraits are from Time Magazine covers. In 1978, Time Magazine donated 800 works of original cover art to the National Portrait Gallery, and since then has continued to donate, and now we have over 2,000 covers. We each share a common goal between Time Magazine and the National Portrait Gallery of telling stories of the men and women who are at the foundation of our country. If you'd like to find out more about the Time Magazine covers in our collection, just go to our website at www.npg.edu. At the top menu, click on the portraits, and then you'll see on the left-hand side there, the time collection. Just click on that. As you can see, if you start with the simple shapes, you can take something that's seemingly complicated like hair or ears that are turned on a weird angle and make them very simple just by looking to see what you see and nothing more. Keep it simple. The more you practice, the better you'll get. We would love to see what you came up with today, so if you wouldn't mind posting your art on social media with the hashtag MyMPG, then we can all check it out. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you next time.